Okay, for this next activity, we're going to be making a prediction. A prediction is an idea about what might happen that's based on what you already know. What we're going to be predicting is the water storage traits in thorn palms, a plant. And we're going to think about how high water storage in a thorn palm population can become more common over time. When we look at this in the sim, thorn palms that are thinner like this will be low water storage. The medium water storage and then the ones with a broad base will be high water storage. So let's think about plants and water storage. What water storage is for a plant is how well a plant can keep water to use later. A good example of a high water storage plant would be a cactus. When it's raining, the cactus stores up water into its body for later use so that when it's not raining, the cactus is still going to be able to survive because they have water that they stored up from earlier. High water storage is actually an adaptive trait seen in many, many plants. Make a prediction now based on what we know about water storage in plants and the information that we can see in the histogram from the starting population. And what we're gonna think about is predicting how and why traits for increased levels of water storage can become more common in a thorn palm population. So go ahead. Pause now. If you have access to Amplify, go to Lesson 1.5 and click on 3, Modeling Trait Distribution in Thorn Palms. Go to page 2 and try these missions out if you can. I'm going to test these ideas out in the sim, but before we start, I just want to look at the Thorn Palm population to see the variation of traits. I can see a lot of Thorn Palms that seem to have a very low amount of water storage. I'm seeing some that seem like they have a medium amount of water storage. And I'm actually not finding too many that have a thick trunk like this one with a high amount of water storage. I'm gonna make a prediction that maybe a medium amount of rainfall will result in a high amount of water storage 50 generations later. So let's try that out. Hmm. It's only been a couple of generations, but things I'm already noticing is there's still quite a bit of the thorn palms that have a lower water storage, but it now looks like there's more with a medium water storage. I'm having trouble finding any that have a high water storage. Oh, there's one. Okay, well here, let's fast forward to 50 generations. So what I'm noticing after 50 generations in the thorn palm population, I'm not seeing any more of the low, low water storage traits when we use medium rainfall. But for medium rainfall environment, I see a lot of medium water storage traits, and I don't see any thorn palms with the traits for wa high water storage. So what does that all mean? Did medium rainfall result in an increase of high water storage traits? Why or why not? Go ahead and press pause now. Looking back into the sim, it seemed like a medium amount of rainfall didn't result into a lot of high water storage traits, so let's try a different situation. I have the same starting population of thorn palms, but now I'm going to set it to where they'll have a low amount of rainfall just like a cactus would. So let's see what happens now. What I'm seeing already happening is quite a few of the medium th water storage storm palms are present. I'm not really seeing that many or actually any at all with a low amount of water storage, but I'm noticing a lot of these ones with thick bases of a high water storage. Actually, unlike before, that seems to be all I'm finding now. So again, let's just pause a moment and fast forward in time. This is what I got when I did this for 50 generations with a low amount of rainfall in the environment. With a low amount of rainfall, almost every single trait is gone. There is no more one, two, three, four, all the way up to eight. All of the low and the medium water storage storm palms just disappeared. But what I am noticing is the thorn palms with the high water storage trait they did actually survive and that became the only trait we saw over time. So let's consider. Did low rainfall in the environment result in an increase of the high water storage traits? Why or why not? 
past 